Hey, world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more additional practice, I will point you in the direction of how you can access tons of videos at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is drum roll. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Let's try that again. The focus for this week is drum roll. Equation editor. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own first. Then when you're ready to come on back and check your work, do that. Press play, come on back and see me, and we'll see if you're correct. Welcome back, fourth grade. So let's go over this problem. It says to find the difference, which means that we need to what? Subtract, right? Find the difference of 2 and 4 tenths minus 6 tenths. Use the number line provided if needed. If this were a computer-based test, I might have to actually point at the number line to kind of go backwards if I wanted to. So right away, we know that we're taking 2 and 4 tenths. That's our starting point. And then we need to go back 6 tenths. So here's 2, which means this would be 2 and 1 tenth, 2 and 2 tenths, 2 and 3 tenths, 2 and 4 tenths. So we're starting right here. Okay, and then I need to subtract 6 tenths, which means that we need to make 6 1 tenth hops going backwards, which would be 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths. So this is where the difference is. It's between the whole number one and the whole number two. This would be one whole, one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths, one and five tenths, one and six tenths, one and seven tenths, one and eight tenths. So one and eight tenths could be a sample answer. One and eight tenths, okay? So that is definitely a correct answer. Another answer could be starting at the zero. So then we've got one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, which is the same as one whole, eleven tenths, <laughs> eleven tenths, twelve tenths, thirteen tenths, fourteen tenths, fifteen tenths, sixteen tenths, seventeen tenths, eighteen tenths. So we've got two different answers here. We could have one and eight tenth or 18 tenths. Those are both correct. You may have solved this by subtracting two, tenth, two and four tenths minus six tenths on your paper. That's totally okay too. But if the number line is provided, why not use it? And you can just point on your screen and carefully count as you go back. So I did all the work. I need to make sure that I input the correct answer here which there's two answers that I could put in. I'm gonna put in, hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the mixed number of one and eight tenths, okay? Either one would have been fine, but to do that, I'm going to push the one as the whole number, which would give me the one as a whole number here. Then, since I need to create the fraction of eight tenths, here's my fraction symbol, which would give me a fraction bar right there. Then I would have to click the numerator position. And what goes in that numerator position? Eight, right? So I tap the eight and eight tenths would go right there. Then I would have to click the denominator position. And for the denominator, we need a denominator of what? 10. So I would push one and zero and one and zero would go right there. So make sure that you definitely are working practice on fractions with the with that equation editor, putting in fractions greater than one, practice putting in mixed numbers. That way when it's test time, you're not trying to figure out how to input a fraction, you're already solid on that. Go ahead and pause this video to record any notes that you still need to make. And when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger or more confident with something you've got to be intentional about your practice and you've got to throw down your very best each and every time and most importantly believe in yourself i certainly believe in you and i'll see you next time world changers bye